Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings. And this reading today is going to be for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will come up for you guys, Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what do we have for you. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below if you want. Now let's see what do we have for Gemini. Okay. Actually, let's start off your reading with <clears throat> your overall energy. What is the overall energy for Gemini, please? What is the overall energy for Gemini? Okay, so we have thriving. <clears throat> and healing cows. Okay, kind of came in the reverse. Um, so let's see what is this about for you guys. I feel like things are moving forward. Um, Gemini, there's a sense of healing that I see here in your reading. Okay, I'm going to read what this exactly says um towards the end of the reading okay so let's see for from what i can see it's about overcoming challenges it's about healing it's about moving forward you see let's see yeah six or so it's just when i say that i feel like you're moving forward from something you're definitely um, moving forward from something here that I see. Knight of Cups. Ooh, this is interesting. The sun. Okay, so I do feel like overall your energies are really nice. Things are moving forward for you guys, Gemini. Um, I feel like you have recently let go of a situation or you're deciding to let go of this situation. I also feel like there's a sense of... Um, it's like you, you're in love with somebody, but you're not expressing it, okay? You're, you're at a distance um, here from somebody. Looks like you're prioritizing your happiness, you know, with this Leo energy. This is about prioritizing your happiness. I also see you moving forward in your life with other things. So overall, this is indicating forward movement. I do feel like you're in love, but when it comes to love, I feel like you're a bit distanced from love as well, Gemini, from what I can see. Um... But I do see lots of forward movement here. I see a sense of happiness. This is like, you know, that, you know, because this energy is so chaotic and we have butterflies here. This is about evolution. This is about moving forward. This is about evolving um, and thriving, of course. And then, you know, this is like that sun energy with, when, you know, where it's about happiness. It's about, uh, it's also a sense of victory here with the sun card. Let's see, though. I do feel like you made this decision in the past to let go of something, okay? Um, maybe because there were other people involved or it could just be that you... It's like you left a certain situation, Gemini, because again... Um, Your energy right now, I see a very light-hearted energy, Gemini. It's like you're trying to enjoy yourself. You're healing, you know, you're focused on the right thing. And anything that seems a bit chaotic or that seems like it's off balance and, you know, making you feel depleted, 
I feel like you're not indulging in it or you're not willing to maybe indulge in it. Okay, temperance to the nine of wands here. So I really feel like, you know, this is like being patient. This is like a surrendering to the divine timing kind of an energy, Gemini, especially with the nine of wands energy. I feel like you're closing off. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like you are, it's like redirecting your focus from things that are not meant to be, you know, you know, stuff that you feel like is just not worth your time and energy. I really feel like you are now, um, you're now shifting your focus onto other things from what I can see, okay? It's about perse perseverance. Um, it's about surrendering to the divine timing and temperance card kind of talks about patience. I'm going to clarify these energies in a bit. Look at your overall energy. Your overall energy for the reading is the strength card here, Gemini. I like it. Uh oh. Why the devil energy? Somebody's in love with you. Ten of wands. Oh, so it's about releasing um patterns it's about releasing what doesn't serve you anymore right it's about recognizing that this just doesn't work for me and this is a hindrance like i feel like there was a certain situation in your life like you were not really feeling happy in it completely yes you were coming from a place of love but there was lack of happiness we have the strength energy as your overall energy so let's see we will see what is that about for now, I feel like you're very focused on change and you are manifesting a change in your life. It's about what is in your destiny, you know. There's a sense of attachment or some, I don't know, what is this devil energy? It's almost like this is creating a burden for you. And maybe that is the reason why you decided to move on was because the situation was very burdening. You see? Tell me about this devil energy. Knight of Wands. This could be somebody approaching um, you. You have Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, it's about marriage or long-term partnership that came to an end. And for others of you, it's about leaving a situation. Like I feel like you gave so much of your time and energy in a certain situation where... It, it just didn't work out, honestly. And something fell apart here for sure. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And all of this is because you're wanting to be at a stable place in your life. You're, you're trying to be clear with your priorities here, okay? I see somebody coming in. This person seeming like, you know, somebody who is very tempting for you. <laughs> Tell me about the King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? Somebody in your environment is coming up as the King of Cups energy hangman. I feel like this person is not really expressing right now. This person, yeah, they have feelings for you, but they're not expressing it. Things are stuck between you and this person. What is the Wheel of Fortune about? The Chariot. You know what? Gemini, nonetheless, there's like this forward movement here. There's a sense of determination in your energy, and I really like it. I see you moving forward. I see you manifesting things. This is fate. This is destiny. So whatever is meant to you will find you anyway. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the page of cups. I still see love coming in, and I also see you um, leaving a past situation due to somebody playing games with you. Seven of swords and the five of swords together, man. Tell me about the Six of Swords. For some of you, it's about movement in your job or like leaving a certain situation. And, you know, um, I do feel like this is a sense of transition with the Six of Swords energy. Moving towards your betterment. Empress. Yeah, I feel like you left because it's like you are in a very like you're in this mind space where you're, you're not going to be tolerating anything. That just doesn't serve you anymore, honestly. It's hard for you to walk away, but you've made that decision to walk away. It's about being in the Empress energy. And the Empress energy talks about confidence. This talks about growth. This talks about 
self-love self-care as well you know it's a very confident energy so again i feel like you left a situation for your own um peace of mind honestly not because you're not in love with this person or you don't wish them the best you do but you gotta take care of yourself as well seven of cups It's like you were having a hard time getting on the same page with somebody no matter how hard you tried absolutely running in circles with somebody i do feel like in this in this particular situation you did give in your all but it's it's always like you know you guys couldn't like work things out for some reason why the sun card hermit yeah this is about going into that hermit mode really trying to find what is your purpose what is your soul's calling here so i really feel like with the hermit and the sun energy this is you going within to find answers and i feel like some of you have separated yourself from certain situations in your life just to you know gain a better perspective or regain your perspective about something this is about inner wisdom as well healing chaos overall your energy look at that it kind of makes sense it's about you know it's a very problem solving kind of an energy knight of pentacles and the strength card so overall this month i see you moving forward the pace might be a bit slow but i feel like you're determined to move forward there is that inner strength that you have to move forward from something okay and you know you know what you're capable of you know that there has to be a better situation or there has to be a better outcome than this okay and i feel like you're standing up for yourself here ace of cups honestly i'm seeing this to be the self-love energy but i feel like some of you are wanting to be with somebody who loves you the way you love the other person tell me about the ace of cups this could be something in the future as well a new lover perhaps because you do have changes coming okay with the chariot and the wheel of fortune these are changes this is forward movement this is like you know everything at the end of the day yeah it's about marriage kids new beginnings ace of wands i feel like you're manifesting a relationship in the future honestly And I feel like you're able to manifest this because you are in this beautiful, beautiful empress energy. You know, everything starts with that, honestly. Self-love, self-care, and then you're with the strength and the knight of pentacles as you moving forward. So overall, I feel like things in the past might have been stuck. But I think you're making that effort to move past that. And I like this energy, you know, but there is somebody who's very tempting for you. And I see that person coming back around. However, I see like these new energies, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups are new love energies here for you guys. New passionate beginnings. Hierophant, this could be about marriage commitment. Or this could just simply be you doing what you believe in doing right now. Okay. It's also a very self-loving energy. A lot of you are working hard on yourself. You're, you know, exercising or you're eating healthy. It's like improving yourself in some way. These energies. I like it. Let's read for you what this says, healing chaos. Let's see what it says. When you receive this card, it acknowledges potential chaos or the need for it as an activator for profound heading. If your life seems chaotic, know that it has an underlying energy of healing. You are being healed on all levels. You are a healer. Alternate, alternatively, if I can read, if your life is calm to the point of being stagnant, this card suggests that it might be time to create a bit of chaos in your life. You know, shake things up a bit. It will activate healing. Do the unexpected. Mix life a bit. This is about the unexpected. This is about determination to move forward. I feel like these cards are also kind of like, it's, it's like a sense of energy. It's, it's giving you to move past something as well as try something new, especially if it has been on your mind, um, you know. So let's see, it's about forward movement. Nonetheless, this is about forward movement. So thriving says, if you draw this card, you are a survivor. And not only do you survive, but you use situations that others might find challenging, 
to thrive. You expand when others shrink. It's kind of like that boost of energy that this card is giving you. This may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather than be overcome by them. You have a remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge. You are strong. Others may find shelter in your energy and right now that's okay. Through giving to others, you are in turn nourished. This card may be urging you to step into the primal, powerful, wild part of yourself as well. Doing this will increase your vitality and contribute to your overall well-being. So being your authentic self, you know, with the hermit and the sun energy, find what is it that you really want to do. I feel like for some of you, for the longest time, you haven't listened to yourself. And this is like that energy to start listening to yourself. Do what you really want to do. This is a time period for you to, you know, move forward, to heal, to move forward, to attract better. And the best part about this reading is that you already have that knowledge. You already know these things that I'm telling you. You just need to put more effort into it. It's like, I feel like this reading is confirming things for you, honestly. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For some of you, you may have had a, you know, this unhealthy um, childhood um, situation. Something from the past stemming in that needs to be healed. Pay attention to the red flags. It's kind of like this is telling you to wake up to something. Let's see. Tell me more. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more present in you experience more love in your present moment. Sorry. So I do feel like, yeah, this is talking about learning your lesson and moving on from something. Okay, it's talking about learning your lesson and moving on from something for sure. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's, it's almost like it's it's telling you to stay positive. It's, it's telling you to keep moving forward. I do see a new start unfolding for you. But again, you know, there's something deeper, you know, inside of you that needs to be maybe addressed. And this is a time for you, period for you to address it because you have the inner power. You have the inner strength to do so. Okay. That's about it, Gemini. Those were the messages that popped out for you. Check out the extended to know more about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you in case this resonates? Um, so yeah, you can check out the reading to know more about your person as well as your future energies, what's unfolding in the future for you, a bit about your finances, a bit about your future love situation, if there's a new person or no, and what does spirit want you to know. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Take care, Gemini, and bye-bye.